As you're about to start a fresh isopod culture, you can start doing some preparation. Take some leaves from hardwood trees, which you can either buy or find outside like I do, then put them in boiling water for a couple of minutes, ensuring that they're fully submerged. This is going to kill any nasties present, such as slugs and snails, which could absolutely decimate a bioactive vivarium. Now, some do argue whether boiling is absolutely necessary or not, but it is something that I always advocate for reasons I'll talk about in a future video. After a couple of minutes, put the leaves aside to cool. Now get yourself a couple of Tupperwares and pop in a little bit of coconut fibre. This is just going to be a medium for the isopods to bury in. Next, add a couple of bits of cork bark or similar for the wood lice to settle on. Wood lice are not called wood lice without good reason, so it is important to make sure that they do have some wood in the enclosure. Your culture's mostly set up at this point, so you can add a couple of isopods to get it seeded. I'm making new cultures of Porcellionides pruinosus, otherwise known as the tropical grey or powder blue woodlouse, but you will see that I do have many springtails in the enclosure too. The springtails are going to eat mould much more readily than the isopods, and so they do just help to keep things clean. No matter which woodlouse or isopod you are setting up an enclosure for though, it's basically going to be the same as this. One thing to take note of is that I do also add some old leaves from the mature culture just to aid in getting a new one off to a good start. You can also now add some of the leaves that you prepared earlier to give the wood lice more surface to live on and also they are going to eat the leaves too. Make sure when fitting the lids that they are closed tight all of the way around without any of the little stems of the leaves popping out because if there is a little gap then the ice pods are going to escape. To maintain a culture, you can just open it twice a week to ensure that you are changing the air out in them, and then when you do this, remove any mouldy food and add in fresh if necessary. You can use products such as Arcadia's Custodian Fuel for this job, although they are going to breed faster if you offer them something high in protein such as fish food. And with that, you know how to take care of a woodlouse culture. As you can probably tell, culturing woodlice is not very difficult at all. Once you've got them set up, just leave the culture in a warm spot where they are exposed to some natural light during the day and this is going to have them breeding in no time. Saying that, they can take a couple of months to get going so do just be patient with them but after a sort of six months of setting you should start seeing plenty of babies about. It is essential that you keep the enclosure somewhat moist because this is absolutely necessary for the wood lice to keep on breathing. Um, so you do want to keep it damp in there, just make sure that it isn't sopping wet and so to do this only spray them once every now and again. So hopefully you now know how to culture isopods. If you did find this video useful or entertaining then please subscribe to the channel and I'll have similar content out in the near future. But until the next video, keep following nature's example, I've been JTB Reptiles and I'll see you then. Bye guys!